Hey guys, welcome back to another follow along session and today we're going to be covering shoulder mobility. We've already done a shoulder mobility routine so please check it out guys um, on my channel. Uh, today we're going to be using various techniques, they're going to be a little bit different from a previous video and a little bit more challenging. So the equipment that you need for today is yoga blocks and a hand towel. If you don't have yoga blocks then you can use something like pillow or foam roller to support your head and elbow during the stretches. And before we start the routine we're gonna just start bringing our awareness back to the breathing through the diaphragm into our belly. Four seconds in, four seconds out. So in through the nose, out through the mouth. And we're gonna be using a technique called RPR which is called a reflexive performance reset. We're going to use our thumb and we're going to work our up and down from uh, the bottom of the sternum to the top of the sternum. And this is, opens your diaphragmatic breathing. So we're going to do this for 60 seconds. In your own time, make sure you breathe through the belly. Not too hard, not too soft. Twenty more seconds. And time. Okay, you can use the same breathing technique during the stretches, especially if it becomes uncomfortable so that you become more aware of the breathing and also getting away from that challenge of the actual stretch. So the first stretch we're gonna do is a sleeper stretch which is an internal rotation for your shoulder. Um, we will visit rotational movements first and then we'll go more into uh, linear um, shoulder flexion, shoulder extension. So we're gonna be lying down in this position and tuck your shoulder back and down so that it's not elevating during the stretch. And you're gonna focus on passive stretch first, two minutes passive stretch, and then we're gonna apply asymmetric contractions to strengthen the joint in the various range of motion positions. So just get into the position and stretch passively. Make sure that your shoulder is not popping up in this position and your hand is slightly towards the body uh, rather than away from the body so focus on the stretch and make sure that you're breathing guys more seconds make sure that you don't stretch too hard not to strain the muscle just passively stretching at this moment no contractions no pushing In 30 seconds, we're going to be pushing up into our right hand or the left hand, depending on which side you are. We're going to push in stages, so 20% effort, then 40% effort, then 60% effort. Just so that you don't strain the muscle because isometric contractions are uh, 
uh, strength training as such. So you're gonna contract your glutes, your core, five, four, three, two, one, and pushing up into the palm, 20% effort. Push a little bit harder, 40% effort. Sixty percent effort. Three, two, one, and then place your hand underneath and push down towards the floor. Again, isometric contraction. Push a little bit harder. Five, four, three. Two and one and passively stretch down towards the floor you will notice that your body gave you a bit bit more freedom in that stretch this is due to the fact that um, we are driven by the central nervous system by applying isometric contractions we tell our body that this is safe to do so it gives us 10 to 15 percent more range in the joint so push again into that palm Five, four, three, two, one, and place the hand under and push again. Ten, nine. And relax, push down a little bit further towards the floor. Three, two, one, and time. So you'll notice that the hand goes a little bit further this time and we're going to switch our sides two minute stretch breathing This is sort of like meditation. Make sure that you spend time in these stretches. Less than two minutes passive stretch is a waste of time. So you wanna be able to accumulate that time in, in the stretches. And if you find it uncomfortable again, try to come out of those stretches, pause, and then go again. Using the timer on your phone or um, on your laptop or just on your watch, just to keep the time. In 15 seconds, we're going to apply isometric contractions, pushing into our palm towards the ceiling. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your abdominals, and push towards the ceiling. 20% effort. towards the floor 20% effort contracting the glutes core all the muscles are firing three two one push harder and relax 
relax, passively stretch towards the floor. And push again, 10, 9. Place the hand under. And relax. Push the hand down towards the floor. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, guys. So this is our sleeper stretch and the next one is going to be external rotation through the shoulder and making sure that we are rotating that shoulder towards the back. Really good for overhead squats, snatches, anything to do overhead like handstands, military press, etc. For the external rotation stretch, if you don't have a yoga block, you can use a mobility stick or um, like a dowel or um, like a broomstick so that you can externally rotate through your shoulder in this position. So you grab with your thumb pointing to the side, grab nice and tight and then you're gonna pull so that you externally rotate through that shoulder. Try not to twist through your torso, uh, making sure that you just feel that stretch across the back of the shoulder, terrace major, terrace minor area and you're going to spend in that position instead of the yoga blocks. Again, and if you're using that active exercise, you can just use the yoga block or the foam roller normally lifting off the ground. So we're going to do the external rotation stretch and you'll need the blocks um, to put your elbow on one and put your hand on the other one. Um, again, two minute stretch, pushing down into the block and then pulling away from the block. So we're going to focus in this position for two minutes. Again, you need a timer, use your phone. And also, if it's too easy, you can drop that foam roller or um, a yoga block away and then focus on this position. Okay, for this stretch, um, we can use the yoga blocks to stretch both sides and you can support your elbow if you need to, if it's too hard. Uh, but we're going to be lying down in this position and we're going to focus on external rotation through our shoulder. This is a passive stretch for two minutes. So use the timer again, use your phone if you need to. If this is too hard, put something under your elbow so that you're a little bit more elevated off the floor. We've got just under one minute guys. In 
15 seconds, we're gonna push into the block, contracting the glutes, contracting the abdominals, legs are firing. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Push down and into the block. elbows on the blocks and we're gonna actively lift as high as we can try not to flex or extend through your wrist keep it neutral keep your forehead on the ground and go glutes are firing trying to externally rotate actively through the joint Next stretch is a shoulder flexion stretch. You can keep your hands on the ground on the foam roller or you can use your blocks. So again, two minute stretch, pushing down into the blocks and then we're gonna do the active stretch, lying down on our stomach, raising the hands off the ground. So make sure that in this setup, you have your knees and your hips in line and that you're activating your upper abdominals so that you're not extending or flexing through your lumbar spine, keeping it nice and neutral and feeling the stretch more in your thoracic area and scap. Okay, this one is a little bit more difficult, so make sure that you connect to your breathing in this one. One more minute guys, you're almost there, halfway through. seconds and we're gonna press down into the blocks 20% effort 40 60 40 Three, two, one, contract your glutes, contract your core, push down into the blocks, contract, push a little bit harder. Three, two, one, relax, and slowly come out of the stretch. From here we're going to be raising the hands off the ground, making sure that your forehead touches the ground, feet on the ground, 30 second lift off, keeping the hands shoulder width, and 3, 2, 1, and lift, elbows are locked,
three, two, one, and time. Well done, guys. Okay, so we've done a sleeper stretch, external rotation, and shoulder flexion. We've got a few more stretches to go through. Um, next one is going to be uh, shoulder extension, so we can use the mat uh, or use the floor and get comfortable in here. Okay, so next stretch is going to look like this. So your fingers are going to be pointing back along the floor and your shoulder blade is going to be pinned back and down. And again, two minute stretch. This one is a little bit hard on the bicep as well, so if it's too much, just let go and move your glutes towards your hands. Try not to slide out with your hands as well. got 60 more seconds then we push down into the floor Contract your glutes, contract your core, push down. Push a little bit harder. Five. And gently come out of the stretch. Okay. You're gonna use a towel for the active stretch and reinforcing this position. So grab a towel palm facing forward and you're gonna lift as high as you can without popping up your ribcage or leaning forward and hold it up as high as you can. for the shoulder extension. Three, two, one, and let go. That was that, guys. I find the shoulder flexion and extension quite difficult um, due to years of stupidity and training and not stretching enough so make sure that you spend some time in these ones because shoulders are quite complex it's a very shallow joint and it sits quite shallow as opposed to the hip ball and socket so we do have a lot of freedom in our shoulder if we look after it okay um, next stretch is going to be um, focusing on the front shoulder pick minor pick major it's like a variation of a scorpion stretch, but keeping your hand 90 degrees. So 90 degree stretch. And 
and we're going to focus on two minute passive stretch pushing down into the floor and then we focus on the active stretch strengthening the back shoulders three two one and stretch use the opposite hand to support yourself on the floor and to push into the floor for extra stretch One more minute guys. Thirty seconds and then we push into the floor. that your opposite hand is pushing into the floor to feel that extra stretch in your shoulders and chest. feedback about these routines and let me know if you want to see any other routines on the channel would like to have some feedback guys uh, all feedback is welcome 45 seconds in my hand 
it allows me to contract a little bit harder. Three, two, one, and relax. Now we're gonna lie down on the stomach and we're gonna focus on lifting off the ground. Same position. You're going to focus on the 90 degree bend at your elbow and lifting as high as you can off the ground. Three, two, one, keeping the forehead on the ground and lift as high as you can. Glutes are tight. So we've done five stretches, feeling nice and open through that shoulder. And in order for us to reinforce these um, sort of positions, we're gonna use um, shoulder cars, controlled articular rotations uh, to reinforce the gained ranges of motion. So it's gonna look like this. We're gonna focus on rotating through the outer ranges um, in our shoulder joint and using the movement uh, to reinforce and connect to our mechanoreceptors. Every joint in your body have mechanoreceptors and it communicates to the brain uh, via movement through the joint. So we're going to do five repetitions on each side. So to finish off, we're going to focus on shoulder curl controlled articular rotations, shoulder cars, and we're going to focus on expanding or we're gonna focus on so to finish off this routine we're gonna reinforce all that gained ranges of motion in our joint and utilize a movement so control the articular rotations allow us to communicate to the brain and reinforce those positions by utilizing mechanoreceptors in our joint so you're gonna start with externally rotating and bicep nice and locked and we're gonna move away from the body towards the ceiling and then as soon as we hit that maximum range of motion we're going to externally sorry internally rotate to the back shoulder extension pinky looking forward internal rotation and back shoulder extension external rotation over your head abduction and adduction thumb is looking back Again, pointing towards the ceiling with the bicep as high as you can. So if you feel you're stuck, you're gonna internally rotate to the back, shoulder extension, pinky looking forward. Bicep looking forward, over the head, internal rotation. If you feel a pinch, just slightly move away from that position, but keep moving through the shoulder, as pinching will irritate the joint even more.
and there you have it guys thank you so much for watching this follow along routine let me know your thoughts and give me some suggestions for what you want to see in the next stretch see you guys soon